All right, babe, so it's Mark and Rebecca. Fill me in. They're looking for a home in the Dunwoody area. They have a 13-year-old daughter. They've been trying to get into Dunwoody for almost three years. So she goes to school here. They're currently renting. Now they're like, this is our school district. Get us in so that we can have some ownership. OK. I just think Aunt Elizabeth has been cooped up in an apartment a little too long. No, yeah, no question. I think we've all been cooped up too long there. <laughs> what, two home offices and apartments? Uh, like, not, not, not conducive. <laughs> our daughter turned 13. This is going to be where her memories are made. It's so important for her to have a neighborhood that she can call her own. We're looking for a nice yard. I would love to have an area that we can just enjoy people's company. Ranch style. I just want to be in the house. <laughs> I'm kind of done with renting. <laughs> this is it right here. Oh, I like this. It's, it's pretty. It's nice. I got $5 on whoever makes it up this hill without panting, OK? <laughs> Nice doors. Yeah, I like the front Love doors. Love the front door. Okay. So you've got this front room, which traditionally has been used as a dining room. Mm -hmm. Nobody really needs a formal dining room yeah. anymore. It seems a little odd to have the television room right here. Now, I know we nixed the first house due to the lack of a possible office, but this one really could give you an office and so much more. So you walk in through the foyer, and then you come into a fireside living room that leads into a large sunroom. One side of your living room, you have your kitchen with the adjoining room. And on the other side, you have three bedrooms and two baths. OK, so then we usher into the fireside living room. Mm -hmm. Nice. A lot of doors. Mm -hmm. you know, I got double doors, I got double doors, and I see double doors. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you'd like to see it thinned out, which is possible here. What do we feel about the fireplace? You know, honestly, I, I, I like the stone, but I, I don't like where it's located. Babe, what would it take to completely remove the fireplace? A sledgehammer <laughs> and some hard work. Dynamite. <laughs> Anytime you're dealing with the fireplace, you're dealing with the structure of the house. Okay. It's yeah. going through the roof line. So it can be done, but it's a big task. Then down this hallway, there's three bedrooms okay. and two baths. Oh, wow, I like the size. Is this king size bed? Yeah, that's a good size bedroom. Oh, a nice double vanity. That's a yes, nice change from last. It's nice. Bathroom needs a little work. And then off of this fireside living room, we step down into the sunroom, which seems to have been an addition. Beautiful. I love how bright it is, mm -hmm. um, the natural light that's coming in. Kitchen? Let's see uh, it. Kitchen like sell houses, that. right? Let's do it. That's right. Kitchen, white. What do we think? Large. I love the cabinet space. I could definitely see entertaining in here. OK. I like the kitchen. It, it does feel a little bit closed off, mm -hmm. rest of the house. So over here, there's another room. Could you see yourself using this space? Does this feel like your office, yeah. Mark? Very large for a home office. It looks like an office. So we checked off a space for Mark's office. Now, what do you think about this backyard? Oh. <laughs> this is definitely a larger yard than the last one and what a we were even... larger. This is exactly what I was asking for. I had no idea this even would exist in this area. You'd like this as an outdoor space. Yeah. I love that. Okay. Okay. That'd be amazing. All right, come on back in this way. Tell me what some of your struggles are, and then we'll tell you what our ideas are. I'm struggling with one thing. What's that? With two bathrooms. OK. There's a chance they don't like anything I show them. And there's just not a lot on the market right now. Specifically where they want to be, mm -hmm. homes are flying off over asking price. So I'm getting a little nervous, to be honest with you. Yeah, it sure. feels like any guests we have, we're going to have yeah. to walk back to the living quarters. Mm -hmm. and then, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's something they'd want to do or. We kind of consider that as well. Right. This could actually be a four bedroom, three bath house. I yeah, like the sound of that. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. This house okay. has a problem right now functionality for livability. If you're in this room, where do you put a TV? Like, where do you get comfortable in this house? great question. So what I think will solve that problem is if the kitchen is actually relocated where the sunroom is. We can remove the fireplace and then take down the sunroom wall. You know, this becomes the hangout spot, a real living room, a family space. Mm -hmm. That front room could be your office, French doors. Mm -hmm. If we add a closet, because it has a window, it's a legal bedroom. Mm -hmm. And the room that you were going to use as an office, potentially, right. we turn that into a full bath. The plumbing's right there. The kitchen's mm -hmm. there. You come around the corner here, we make this one the focal wall. Ah. We could even add a ventless fireplace. That way, we're not okay. really removing a fireplace right. for appraisal's sake. Wait, you can do that? 
I can do anything. <laughs> anything I put my mind to, I can All do right. it. Yo, now. Uh oh, is that the man? Hey! Florida says hello. Your aunts and uncles said hey, hey. So, what's up? So, I know it's one thing to see it on plans, mm -hmm. but this entire living area's floor plan is going to change. The entire kitchen is going to be gone. The only thing we're going to save in here is the appliances. And then we're going to build a new kitchen in the current sunroom area. These two French doors are going to be gone. Two French doors, gone. Cabinets all the way across. Fireplace coming out. OK. Because we're going to take this wall out. And then we're going to take these beams out. Sounds like a plan. Let's, Let's go. go. All right. Sure you don't want that water up there? I want you to bring that with you, please. You know, anytime you deal with Taking out a fireplace, you're dealing with chimney, you're dealing with bricks, you're dealing with structural. It's nothing to take lightly. You don't want to just go at it. And you never want to start from below. You always start from the top and work your way down. There you go. Get it. While Mike and Uncle Mark are taking down the chimney, I'm meeting with Rebecca and Mark to go over our design plan. OK, guys. <laughs> I love where you're staying. Are you sure you're going to want to move in your house? You know, all said yeah. done, you're going to leave? I think so. <laughs> Giving us good ideas. <laughs> so it, it, that's what we have to go over, just ideas, the look, the feel of your house. Sure. So actually, because you said farmhouse to me once before, and I thought refined, modern farmhouse. So that's cool, yes. So this is where we're going. Elements that you would find in maybe something that was inspired by a farmhouse, but we don't want to go backwards. So a little bit of history with a little bit of modern. I like that. Would you agree? I I like it. Pull some things out so you can see. These are hardware options. So we could go with the black. We could go with the satin brass. It's either satin brass or I do like the I do like the black you like also. The, well, so. you know, you could actually do both. No. I think I like the uniformity throughout. Okay. okay. So satin brass around all the cabinetry. Okay. Okay. I can totally see that. Okay. I have more options. I have green options. This one is Boreal, which is a bit of a lighter green. This is Essex. Mm -hmm. Now, you said, I love seeing the sprawling backyard. So what this does is bring the outdoors in. How do we feel about a green kitchen? <laughs> the whole thing would be green? <laughs> well, OK. I can tell both of you guys are allergic to that idea. So <laughs> would you trust to do it just on the island for a pop of color. I could get behind that. Yeah. Of the two, I like the more emerald, smoky the darker look. one. I can go. Then with. we do the perimeter in white or an off white or with shaker style. This is going to be the most cost effective option okay. because okay. it's very common. It's easy to get okay. right now. You know what? You're selling it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now imagine in our new kitchen, we'll build a long island with a dark green Essex base and a white quartz countertop that will extend down the sides for some waterfall drama. On the back wall, I'm thinking we'll run some rustic open shelves on top and white shaker style cabinets on our lowers with satin brass hardware, since you love that so much. Then we'll finish the look with our dark green Essex subway tile in a horizontal pattern as the backsplash. That will tie it together. Mark has his office, so he's good. But I really want to do something special for Rebecca. And the updated layout of their house is big enough for my kitchen design and the new pantry right next to it. The pantry's a big deal. Every house needs additional storage. Pantries are a huge selling feature for resale, especially with families. They're going to love that idea. But what I love even more is that today we're going <laughs> to raise the roof. are really picking up in Mark and Rebecca's house. Drywall's been put up. Skylights are going in on the new roof and in the kitchen. Plus, we're framing out this really cool half wall that's going to separate the kitchen and dining room while still allowing tons of light to flow throughout the house. And Mike and I are working on installing something fun in Mark's new office. When you first look at the office, you just see bookshelves. So it's an office. But when you go over and pull it, there's a hidden closet. So it's actually a legal bedroom. Good play. All right. 
So we have to attack the outdoor space because that was a big element for them wanting to be able to entertain indoor outdoor. Mm -hmm. So I ended up ordering these cabanas for Rebecca and Mark's back patio that I think will really make the space pop. Mike! We're out here. <gasps> I did not know these were going in today. Look at this. Look at you. Babe, this is... It's nice, right? The, the best thing is, Rebecca and Mark have no idea we're doing this. Yeah. They'll feel like they can bring the indoors, outdoors. Mm -hmm. Check out this, hold on. Get some sunshine, you get some mid sunshine, then you get your shade. It closes all the way. It closes all the way. So when it's raining, you can still be right out here. When it's raining, you still be right that's out genius. here. That's genius. That pergola looks amazing. And that's not all we're getting done. The Bernier's new bathroom has gorgeous new tile, and the shower looks fabulous. The tile is in. The shower looks amazing. Yeah. That's a moment. It is a moment. The white oak focal wall is gone in. And the crew is getting ready to install a new fireplace. Been like forever, hey. right? <laughs> All right, hey. I gotta know. How are you? How are you okay, going? tell the truth. Did you guys come by at any point just to peek through the window and see what was going on? She wouldn't let me. No. But I heard the neighbors did a little bit of it. Oh, <laughs> oh is there okay. You? All right. Da -da -da -da. Come on in. Oh my gosh! No way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> It's like so different. I love it. I thought it would be really great to add more personality to this space and make this a standalone moment. Because of all the light, mm -hmm. I think it works. Well, I'm just so glad you trusted me with this. And right off the entryway is your new office. Come on oh, in. That is beautiful. Every home yes. needs a home office. So I love it. <laughs> I love the shelf. That so, is so great. Here's the thing. It's your office, but mm -hmm. it's also now a legal bedroom. Oh. So this house was a three bedroom when you purchased it. Now it's a four. Mm -hmm. What do you need to be a fourth bedroom? Closet. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, no. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> it's also an ensuite. <gasps> what? No. Oh, my gosh. No way. Oh, wow. This is so this is cool. So... <laughs> this is great. Wow. It's like a private bathroom. This is beautiful. So this was just a room. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. But now it serves as an ensuite bathroom for your office slash bedroom and connects to the living area for your guests. They don't have to walk back mm -hmm. to the bedroom. They have full access. That is huge. The big stone fireplace is gone. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. This is absolutely fantastic. Can I live here? <laughs> <laughs> Are you crying? Yeah, I'm totally amazing. crying. <laughs> so the biggest change here is moving the kitchen mm -hmm. to the back where the sunroom was. There was a huge fireplace sort of obstructing the view of the room. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we would never take out a fireplace without adding another one. Oh my gosh. <gasps> another fireplace. <laughs> Perfect. This is so cool. That is amazing. I love it. Every time I turn, there's something I'm amazed by. <laughs> So mm -hmm. now you have a focal wall. Mm -hmm. You have a formal and a casual space yes. where folks can relax, watch TV. Most people live in their kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> I can <didn't> see it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Look at, oh my gosh, I love this. I love how it just comes right over. You got yourself a waterfall. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> It's huge. Gorgeous. Come on out. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. This is amazing. There's no way you can have this amazing space that you can now oh, yes. entertain in and not have an outdoor space yeah. to do that as well. This is amazing. Oh. This is so cool. And you can cover or? Oh, no way. It's like oh, a pergola man. or not. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cabana, 
pergola. You want shade? You don't want shade? Yeah. Oh my gosh.